y'all i'm back with another painting just setting up my colors so that i'm able to blend them up easily like i always do i love making my own colors so for this painting i wasn't too sure on what i wanted to paint and someone gave me a suggestion of hmm why not paint lost at sea like Something that represents being lost at sea. And, you know, water representing emotion. I took this and I ran with it and I couldn't wait to paint it. So, I'm painting a gray sky. I want the gray to represent, you know, sort of a foggy mind. A lost mind. Here I am. Adding the horizon. I'm going to go ahead and blend the horizon with the sky a little bit. Now here it looks like I'm painting mountains. Please bear with me. Painting the water as if you're in the water is hard. Versus you painting the water from a perspective of sitting on sand. Yeah, this was hard. I'm picturing myself in a boat, looking at the waves, kind of in between the waves a little bit. So it looks like I'm in mountains, but I wanted to sort of be in between the water. Like, <laughs> I don't know. You know, like between a rock and a hard place. The white is so significant in this. As I started adding more and more white, I started to look at it a little, a little differently and kind of picture a waterfall. Like, am I flowing with the water or am I falling with the water? This is sort of what I was thinking about. But then I started to picture the flow of the water. Um, and I'm not really sure if I want to turn this into a waterfall and have my boat fall off of the fall down the waterfall or if I would like to flow with the water but stay tuned for part two I'll be finishing this soon